Welcome to Flappy Bird. In this chapter, we will program our first full game, which will involve quite a number of programming tricks and we'll have a lot of fun. So, for the first time in the course, we have a game starting with a proper main menu, and our character Flappy is floating gracefully. Once we hit the start button, the menu will fade away, and Flappy flies if I press the mouse button or spacebar, and we'll have to avoid some obstacles. If it avoids an obstacle successfully, it will score a point. If it crashes, the game will start over. So we have this little score at the top of the screen, which will increase as we're getting more proficient and we're progressing to the game. These obstacles will be generated indefinitely, and notice that they look different, so that we have a certain challenge in the game. Towards the end of the chapter, we'll make the game even more challenging as we'll increase the speed of the game and we'll increase gravity and various other factors. I'm really excited about this game and we will learn a lot. So go to your course dashboard and download the initial project, the Flappy Bird zip attached to this very lecture. Unzip it like you did for the other projects and import it by creating a new project in your stuff. So under your account, create a new project and click on file and load from your computer. And I will add Flappy SB3. And with that, I will lead you into the next video.